Mr. A-Word kicked. Are you saying I'll be in physical danger? He saw the worst kids in school in one room for an hour. What do you think is going to happen? I thought we were going to spend the time regretting our actions and thinking about how we could be better in the future. Well, you thought wrong. Get lost. You're both mean and nice to me. It's confusing. Maybe I'm doing this wrong. Have you ever been in detention? No. But I do take the school bus. And that is no party. It's like a mental hospital on wheels. That's a good use of simile. Thanks. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. I hope. Hello. I'm here for detention. Where is the teacher? Not here yet. Oh. I have three dollars. Feel free to share it with the others. Would you prefer a piece of paper? I have some in my briefcase. It's here if you change your mind. All right, losers, you know how this works. One hour, no talk, and no horseplay. Sheldon? Hello, Mr. Gibbons. Why are you here? I didn't want to catch a cold from Miss McElroy, so I left her classroom without a hall pass. Well, something is going around. I actually had a little tickle in my throat. Okay, time to go. Nice meeting you. What, what are you doing? You've heard of fight or flight? This is flight. Not so funny now, is it? No. How long is he suspended for? A week. And it goes on his permanent record. Well, that's no big deal. I had all kinds of stuff on my permanent high school record. Didn't stop me from being a bartender for eight years. I think the real issue we need to deal with is his germ phobia. Oh, yes, you don't want him turning into Howard Hughes, growing his nails out, peeing in a jar. Why would he pee into a jar? I don't know why he peed in a jar. I just know he did. I hate to say it, but I think we need help with this. Like what? Maybe we could take him to that nice doctor who calmed him down when he was convinced he had an enlarged prostate? She had not only calmed down. The doctor told him what happens in a prostate exam. Yeah. Poor thing. Still talks about it. Thank you for seeing us, doctor. No problem. So, what do you got today, Sheldon? Rickets? Rabies? Early onset menopause? Is he making a joke? I believe so. Humorous. <laughs> Sheldon's not sick, but he has become overly concerned with getting the cold or the flu. Oh, any symptoms? Runny nose, achy, sore throat, fever? No. All right. Well, Sheldon, if you do catch a cold or even the flu, it's, it's not the end of the world. The flu was the end of the world for half a million Americans during the influenza epidemic of 1918. Really? In India? 17 million people died. Okay, I think we're getting off the subject. Doctor, Sheldon is afraid to go to school because he might get exposed to some kind of bacteria or virus. So he's got a phobia? It's not a phobia if the threat is real. You're a doctor, you should know that. <laughs> Sheldon, you have nothing to worry about. Even if you did get the flu, it's usually over in a week. Why are we getting medical advice from a man who smokes? <laughs> okay, I have patients who are actually sick. <laughs> Maybe we should wrap this up. How come you don't get sick all the time? Well, I take precautions. I wash my hands, I wear gloves and a mask. So, Mom, how was your day? We're ignoring this. Okay. 